Boulder police are looking to make arrests after a party on the hill near CU Boulder became violent last night. Up to 800 people and students filling the road there near 10th Street in Pennsylvania. SWAT showed up and got people out of that area and then things turned destructive. People threw rocks and bricks at the SWAT officers, injuring three of them. A woman's car was tipped over and amid all that damage, it didn't appear that anyone in the crowd was wearing a mask. CU Boulder's COO says there will be consequences. We want to be clear to our students who continue to demonstrate through their conduct that they can't, if they can't meet our expectations, they are not welcome at the university. Boulder police say that no one has been arrested so far. Officers say one person was issued a summons to return to court for dancing on top of an Amazon truck. Police also gave out citations for public health order violations. The university and police are looking for anyone who engaged in violence and damaged property. People who hosted that party and those who did not leave when officers said it was time to go. Anyone who attended the party is asked to quarantine and get tested later this week. So let's go through the timeline of all of this and when police responded. Boulder police say they started hearing about gatherings around 1.30 in the afternoon. Uh, the, the gatherings officers responded to over the next two hours were only for public health order violations and people were pretty cooperative, they say. By five o'clock, police sent in a unit of officers that specifically deal with issues on the hill to the party on 10th. Uh, at 540, that party started getting large and the SWAT team was activated when police say they started pelting officers with glass bottles. More than two hours later, CU Boulder sent out an alert about that disturbance at 8.01 p.m. Officers say that they then returned to 10th and College around 8.20 to tell people to go home due to unlawful assembly. That's when things got violent. SWAT officers fired pepper ball projectiles on the ground near people causing some harm. Now, and officers used tear gas and smoke to try to get people to leave. Police say they decided to pull the officers back because of the sheer number of people there. Boulder police say it took until 845 to get the crowd to disperse. CU Boulder officials have apologized to the people living in the area who were not involved with all of this. Today, the mess is mostly gone thanks to some students who volunteered their time to clean up. Nine News reporter Victoria DeLeon spoke with one of them today. As early as 8 a.m. Sunday morning. I, mean, I know a lot of CU students wouldn't want to get up uh, at 8 a.m. Uh, on a Sunday morning, but a lot of them did. Haley Breaker and other students were cleaning up a mess that wasn't theirs. It was kind of, I was very disappointed. Saturday night, police were called to break up a large gathering near 10th Street and Pennsylvania Avenue. Most CU Boulder students know the area as the hill. Knowing that these are my fellow students who are out there doing this and who aren't necessarily the ones there you know this morning to help clean up was just disappointing cars were damaged glass and trash was everywhere police officers were assaulted boulder county district attorney michael dordry called these actions selfish and criminal and i can promise you that district attorney's office along with our partners in law enforcement regard this conduct as very very serious and this all happened during a pandemic. The individuals who participated in this activity last night negatively impact all students at CU, our businesses and our communities. Boulder County's health director, Jeff Zayak, says it could be weeks before they know the extent of the impact Saturday's event had on the community. It was just kind of just shocking to see that. Haley says what happened Saturday was disheartening, but she's grateful for her classmates that stepped up. I do love my Boulder community and I'm very proud um, of everyone who showed up. Victoria DeLeon, Nine News. Now, the city of Boulder set up a link for people to report information that could be helpful in the investigation moving forward. They're looking to make arrests now. You can find the link on our website, ninenews.com.